always had this voice in my head that is, says I can do big things. I know that sounds so crazy. There have been times where I've been like, am I done? And then I just have this feeling of like, no, I'm not done. I know I still have more to give. I have cried myself to sleep so many times. I also know that I would be so much more miserable if I didn't try. Leading into the Olympic trials, I just remember a month out, I don't think I can do this anymore. The hardest part was telling Mark. You know, we didn't leave it on happy terms. I loved him and he had done so much for me because I just couldn't take that cycle anymore. And the relationship was severed. Happy New Year and Coach of the Year. All right, Cole, I'm going to go. You good at school? Can I kiss? <laughs> There's this stereotype that if you want to have a baby, you're not serious anymore. I'm very serious about my sport and it doesn't hurt my child. I think it's bullshit. It's your life. And my life is so much better with my son in it. <laughs> um, do you guys want to do another one? Yeah, yeah. I should go be a mom for a little bit. Okay. No one has the perfect story. No one has the fairy tale ending. I'm crazy about running and I still feel like there's more to do. And I just believe that there's things that I still have yet to achieve that are in my grasp. Give them hell, was out. Give them hell, was out. Give them hell, was out. I'm running for me now. And I've surrounded myself with like the most incredible team of people that are letting me drive. For the first time in my life, it's about me and what I want. And I'm not trying to please anybody but myself. I know there's people that think I'm crazy, and I know people think I'm old or I've sold out or whatever it is that they say. I will run as long as my body allows me to, and I love racing, I love preparing for something, and I'm gonna be that annoying person out there, 42, being like, you know, I need a spot on the starting line, move out, young 20s. I'm still here, I'm not going anywhere.